It's a goddamn time machine, okay? Why did you leave with that? For reasons. Stop yelling at me! Hello, everybody, this is what? Welcome to a new series on the Silent Age. Now, I picked this game up for free, this bad boy for freebies on the Epic Games Store. Uh, like I do all my games now, apparently, because I'm a broke motherfucker. <laughs> and it looks like a very basic game. And I'm okay with that. Basic games have the ability to be really fucking good. Like Call of the Sea. It was a. Oh, it wasn't a very basic game, but it wasn't like triple a game and yet it was still a really fun game to play very beautiful and i by looking at just this intro screen the menu screen it looks to be the same and before it loaded into the game it said like use headphones you use earphones so i'm really hoping it has some good audio to it as well okay but without further ado let's get into it it's a side scrolling game i think i've gathered from the screenshots and all that shit the silent age present it looks like just another Tuesday as Joe's Joe, the janitor Joe, sweeps down the floors of the anonymous. Anonymous. I am going to apologize because this seems like a game where I'm going to have to read a lot because I can't fucking read for the life of me. <laughs> Uh, some days I can, other days I can't. I think I'm on one of the other days right now. Cold offers hallways. Then he notices the note. A meeting with the brass? But little does he know that today is about to take a very dramatic turn. Did I do it? I did it. Okay. 1965. I can't get my cursor off screen. I'm so sorry. Okay, we're learning through pictures. Is this Joe, the janitor? Was he once Joe the painter? Paul the painter? 1968. Military? Clones? The clone, is this how the Clone Wars came about? Is this the Clone Wars on Earth? 1969. Good year. Nice year. Buffet, or you can eat. Okay, he worked as a sign spinner, sign splayer. This actually looks very fucking pretty. Very basic, but very pretty. 1971. We've skipped a few years. A couple years, I should say. Oh, now he's the janitor. Okay, yeah, this game looks very... Oh, look at the reflections on the floor. That's so cool. It's so basic, yet so beautiful. He did a good job sweeping that floor, mopping that floor. <laughs> 1960-70-72 When it all happened Chapter 1, The Present Hi Joe Do I use my keys or Do I do anything? Is it a Oh, it's a click, okay, I gotta Ah, I can see the click marks I can hear that in my left ear, that is so cool Elevator door, okay uh, what is she? just door? Is this a note? Door to supply room. I'm guessing as an elevator door again. Sign. Should I go look at the sign? It's probably just a directory of where the uh, elevator goes. No, I can't read. Twenty third floor offices. It's the top management floor where Mr. Hill. Well, I'll say it again. They came out very slowly. It's the top management floor where Mr. Hill's office is. Oh, yeah, Mr. Hill. Wait, is this a note? Let me read the note. There's a sticky note near the door, it says, Joe, Mr. Hill wants to see you, Frank. Ah, fuck no. I'm going into my little janitor closet to jerk off. Oh, shit. Is this his office? No, this isn't his office. Is it? Clark. Oh, it's Joe's office. Uh, what's this? Shelves? I should get some light in here before I break anything. Good idea. Broken light. Oh, it's a broken light bulb. No. Oh, wait, I need the broken bulb. No light. I should change the bulb. Fuck. I'm going to fail these puzzles, man. They may seem easy now, but once I have to... I got it. Once I have to change two light bulbs, shit's going to go down. There. That should work. <laughs> Ow, bright. Not really. You were just in, like, a fully lit area. It's my ward. I got it for helping out one of the lab assistants assistants after he mishandled some barrels. I agreed to keep them here. I like that. The award ceremony will 
was sort of unofficial and I was told to keep the plaque in my office so no one would get jealous. <laughs> Research facility. Hmm. Uh, should I look at the shelf again? Oh, it's a rubber glove on there. <gasps> Is everything I can interact with, like, colourful? Like, I'm pretty sure I can interact with it. Yeah, blue card access. The glove was, like, bright green. Chair. It's my chair. Frank has a good has a good one. Who's Fr oh Frank's your boss, isn't he? Blue card access. Mine. It's an access card for the management level. Management management floor. Sorry. It's a good chair. It's where Frank sits. He should. He's been here a good deal longer than I have, so he has privilege. Didn't you just say this was Frank's chair? Or oh no. What did you say about this chair, Joe? Found it out back after the summit party last year. Who throws out a perfectly good chair like that? I agree. It's my chair. Oh, okay, that's his chair. Okay, barrels. Hazardous barrels. These barrels were bought in here about a year ago. I don't mind them. I have plenty of space and they hardly smell at all. Amazing. Oh, there's stuff on the walls here. Nothing else in this room. Hallway door. Let's go to the hallway. So Frank is your boss, is he? I'm guessing. Oh, is somebody going to be out here? No. Oh, I thought that was somebody banging. Door sign. It's my office. It says so in permanent marker right underneath the supply room sign. Love that. Dude, look at this. It's so simple, yet so effective. Like, it, all it is is the black levels to make it look like they're back in the dis. Oh, and a gradient looks like a tiny bit. A, gr a lighter gradient going up to a darker gradient, and then you just get that, copy and paste that on the other building, but lower the uh, black level so that it seems like they're further away. And it's just simple shapes. There's no detail on it, but it's still so cool. Um, do I do... Okay, you do. Only the lab guys get to go down there. Oh, and Frank, of course. They all have red access cards. Okay. What did this say? Didn't this say to meet Frank in the office? This is gonna... Joe, Mr. He oh, Mr. Hill wants to see you, Frank. Okay. Oh, are these two different elevators that go to two different f floors? Need the blue card. Good thing I've got that. There you go. I love that noise. Permission to enter the bridge, sir? Yes. I like bridges. Ar Archon? Archon? Archer. Modern art. <laughs> I love it. Uh, cool. Hey, lady. You gonna say something? The title reads, Intuit. Must be French. The title reads, The... Gasalt of Saturn Veil. Just looks like a couple of colored boxes to me. <laughs> sure does. Plant! This is it a nice, nice plant? It's a common. No, I'm gonna try to pronounce that. I'm not a botanist or anything, but I used to have one at home that came with a little name tag. Ah, oh, <laughs> that's cute. Company logo. Auction National Defense Service. Oh, sick. Are we gonna make like a nuclear I, bomb? Uh... Oh, there is voice acting. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to do that. What's the matter, sugar? Can't got your tongue? Just get your hiney in there. Can I talk to you again so I don't skip that? It's Gloria, Mr. Hill's secretary. Goldie, among the higher-ups, Miss Gulette Demir. Cool. Does she want to touch my rubber glove? Ooh, I like these doors. Leather padded doors. Look how simple that is. That is so cool. Just a, a simple detail. Let's go see Mr. Hill. Jonah, I'm coming in. Oh, I have to actually go in there. One button to open the door, one button to go in. Ooh, I can feel that in my brain. Amsterdam, Bruxels, Copenhagen. Oh, wait, what are these? World clocks and then company performance chart. I have no idea what this graph represents, but whatever it is, it seems to be going well. No, that's a non number of deaths of janitors in... Weapon defense units. Um, what was that? Sorry, I go too fast. Let me read it again. I think I'm installing some more world clocks. I'm thinking of installing some more clocks myself. Adds a bit of class to my office. Although I'm not sure I would ever know, need to know what the time is in Tokyo or Berlin. Maybe I should just install an extra one for Albuquerque. Albuquerque. What an American name. Albuquerque. I can't even say it in an Australian accent. I've never been one for heights, but behind these thick planes of glass, I can sort of appreciate the view. Oh, <gasps> Mr. President, sir. Nixon. It wasn't he a president? I don't know much about American politics. It's our president. 
Honest Richard, I call him. I think it will catch on. Uh, love that. Hey, Mr. Hill, flag. One nation under God. On guard, man. Red phone. Is this the call of the president? You can usually tell success by the amount of phones people have on their desk. I don't have a desk. Oh, yeah, you do. You've got a little table. I always wondered what was at the end of a other end of the red phone, but I never dared pick it up. Frank says he knows, but if he told me, he'd have to kill me. Love that. The text goes away too fast, so I have to read it really fast, and then I get my wealth medal, my word meddled up. Ah, Jasper. Hey. It's, it's Joe, sir. Uh, of course. Joseph. Why is that in my How left ear? How long is it that you've been with this company, Joseph? About two years, sir. Ah, yes. Then by now you must know that what we do here is very important. National security may be just a word to most people, Jasper, but for men like you and I, it means so much more. We see the people behind those words. We understand that it means the safety of every citizen in this country, not to mention the shareholders. Hard-working clerks and stakeholders at the government funding agency. Yeah! It also means a lot of pressure. A lot. And some men just... buckle. Which brings me to the main point of my agenda. A position just Is Frank up. dead? We're promoting you, Jasper. It, it... I'm... Sir? Don't think the company doesn't notice it's hard-working employees. <laughs> He's full we of shit, Joe. Don't listen to him. this organization, young man. And you've just made yourself a gold star. A this gold star. On, you will be in charge of not only yours, but Frank's assignments too. That's right. That means downstairs, <laughs> drain assignments, the works, with all the clearance that entails. That's a lot of responsibility we're investing in you, Jasper. I, I thank you, sir. Uh, but what about Frank? I know you made a great team, but Frank... Decided to pursue a different career path. Yeah, Frank's fucking dead, we man. We wish him all the best. Oh, and of course you understand that we won't be able to present you with a fancy title. <laughs> this is too real. Stop it. We like to keep a flat organizational structure here. I... So congratulations, Jasper. I bet you must be very excited to get back to work with all your new responsibilities. That's perfectly understandable. I won't keep you a minute longer. Here's your key card. It's exactly what it's like in the real world. Hey, we promoted you, but you're not getting paid anymore. But here's a lot more work. <laughs> oh, that's exactly what I'm about to do. Or oh, was offered to do at work the other day. Assistant manager, you got a whole lot more responsibility with a whole lot less money. Um, do I talk to you again, secretary? Hey, howdy. Can, can I? Okay, no, she doesn't have anything else to say to me. Six oh, I'm promoted, guys. God damn, am I tired? <sighs> I'm sorry. I've had a coffee and everything. Doesn't seem to help though. <laughs> uh, so now we can go to level two with my green rubber glove. Oh, bing! Hell yeah! Open sesame or open sesame. Oh, condom, tin foil. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, wait, there's blood. <gasps> Looks like blood. Maybe someone cut themselves or, or a lab animal got loose or something. Either way, I'll be the one mopping up this time. Hmm. What's up here? Weird, that is open, but I don't remember hearing about any inspection or repairs being done today. Ah, creepy shit. Love that. Where was she? Is this a panel? Oh, let's open the door. Because you got to open the door, then you got to go through the door. You can't just press on the door to go open the door and go through the door. <gasps> Time machine monitor. Monitor unit. Dials. Large processing unit. Window. Okay. Um, which one should I check out first, guys? Elevator panel. Oh, that's what I was just on. The data screen is bigger than my TV. It probably would be, wouldn't it? Yeah. Reminds me of that Pong machine that just got down at Izzy's. They just got down at Izzy's. The thing's amazing. I've been down there most every night. Almost every night after hours since they set it up. Frank says it'll fry my brain, but I think it works just fine. <laughs> I took over for Frank during a sick day about a year ago. My sleeve snagged on one of these things and they closed down the last for a day. Frank, I mean, Frank, Joe, you shouldn't be down here, man. Large processing unit. It's a big computery thing. I'm really not sure what it does. Window. 
The glass is toned, but it looks like a bunch of containers with tubes sticking out. Oh, I thought they were processing units or something. Wait, that's a processing unit. I thought they were like, um, server units. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good at all, bro. Access panel. Oh, not much of an engineer, but this, there seems to be something attached or two of the wires to two of the wires that clearly don't belong. Ah, there. I could remove it and put the panel back in place if I had... But I'm not seeing my hand. Yeah, I thought you were going to say that. Here, use glove. Yeah, I did. I removed the thing and pushed the panel back in place. Oh, I like that. Oh, wait, there's blood on the floor. I like that sound. Blood trail. Hmm. Hmm. I have emeralds that I need to trade. There is no... Ca Fuck. It goes away too quickly. I really should notify somebody about this. I need proof this time, though. After that stupid Halloween prank that that guy's put on me last week, nobody will believe me unless it has a link to show for it. Uh, blood? I can't take this to anyone in any other departments. If I come running with a towel like this between this again without proof, I'll just get laughed at. I need to take to bring a sample. What? A sample? Nah, you don't need to do that, man. <laughs> Can I go through here? The label on the keypad says Cairo. Cry. Chirogenics. I know how to say that word. I don't think anyone's in here. All I can hear is low hum. I hate that the text goes away so fucking fast. I wish, like, you could press a button to make it go away after you finish reading it. Especially if you're doing a Let's Play as well. <laughs> I can't read. I have to read it super fast. If I don't read it in time, it goes away. What'd you say? The label on the keypad says Chirogenics is locked. Okay, so I can't go in there. Beep, 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 beep. Let's go in here then. Ooh, it's like Stranger Things, or like The Last Kingdom. The Last Kingdom? Kingdom, not The Last Kingdom. The Last Kingdom is a TV show. Kingdom's a game. Lab coat, can I put that on? Oh, <gasps> something fell out of the coat. Looks like a handkerchief. Put it back then. Uh, oh, I can get the DNA for that. Oh, wait, I can probably do that in here. Wait, before I leave, I really should get some of the blood soaked up so I can take it to management as proof. There's no way they believe me otherwise. Yes. Like, just here, can I do it? Okay, good. I thought I had to do, oh no. I've got to do it on the big puddle. Caution, keep away from liquid materials. Soaked rag. The handkerchief soaked out some of the blood. I need to get this to management. Can we just look around first? Monitor. It looks like something right out of a science fiction movie. It really does. Right out of Stranger Things. Polar... Don't touch anything. <laughs> Polaris 9 supercomputer. Polaris 5 Lodestia co-processor. It's a very expensive data processing unit. It doesn't actually say expensive, but I think it's a fair guess. The warning sign rings caution. Keep away from liquid materials. Like blood. Okay. Right door button. Far out. It's one of those doors where two people have to turn keys at the same time to open it. It looks like something out of a secret agent movie. Only this doesn't use keys, just buttons. Oh! <gasps> Do I have to, like, become Mr. Fantastic and get, like, long hands? I feel like that's the way I'm going to have to solve this puzzle. But let's get to management and we'll be able to get the blood to them. To be like, hey, it's not a blood, it's real. Even though we probably in 1972, three, whatever it was, don't have the technology to do blood readings. Blood readings? Blood, you know what I'm talking about. Analyze blood. Blood soaked handkerchief. I love the tin foil hat, that's so cool. I gotta press on that to open the door. That's silly, guys. That's silly. I'm coming, Mr. Hill! Jonah! Well, I left the door open. Should I have closed that? A child could have fell down that elevator shaft. Oh, well. One less child in the world wouldn't hurt. Hey, look, I got blood soaked handkerchief, Debbie. Debbie? Your name's not Debbie. Deborah? No. Um, Miss Goulet? Goulet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, some, something's bad. The downstairs handkerchief has basement all over the blood. <laughs> uh, Joe, you're amazing. No, I, I mean... Good heavens, sugar. That rag's got blood all over. Have you hurt yourself again? No, no, it, it's... We keep telling you boys to follow company safety policy. I send out memos almost every week. 
I honestly don't know why I bother sometimes. You try work down there. You may look like the war zone. Men in those boiler suits, but you're really just big boys, ain't you? But I'm not the one who. No need to explain. I hate it when games do that. that for you. No, no, don't you dare. Now, let's see what Gloria Fuck. has for you here. Ooh, Gloria, nice clean, not Debbie. Just go wash up and put that on. You'll be as good as new. Thanks, Gloria. I hate when games have a conversation between two characters where one character interrupts another character, but there's such a huge gap between the interruption, and you can tell that it's in the script that they get interrupted. So it's like, I went to the store, and and then the other character interrupts, and they're like, and there's like a two second gap. So like, I went to the store, and and what'd you buy? See, like. It just doesn't work. You need... I think it's probably... It's... The way the script goes. No, you can do it. <laughs> in my scripts, when I have somebody interrupting somebody, I have them interrupt them, and I have the other person act like they've been interrupted. It's not a hard thing to do, and it's not a hard thing to do in editing either. You just have to cut the clip so that it's closer, so it seems like they're interrupting them. Ah, uh, so annoying. Do I just go back downstairs now? Band-Aid, do I put it on myself? No, not with card reader. With me. No, fuck. No need to mess with the door. It's already open. What do I do now? Do I go talk to Mr. Hill? Can't talk to you, can I? Way to go, Joe. After the performance, she probably thinks you're a retarded or something. Better go back to the labs. Okay, cool. And find something better before you make a fool of yourself. I will do that. But yeah, it's such a simple thing that so many people mess up. It's so annoying. Now when you're watching a TV show and somebody interrupts something, somebody, you're going to notice it now and be like, well, hang on, did he actually interrupt him? Or was that just part of the script? And then, yeah. It's a whole thing. It's really not that hard to work around either. <laughs> I press on the door. Do I have to wait for the animation to finish? Fuck! Okay, let's see what demons lie around here. So that's locked. Oh, my card's gone. Guess I don't need that anymore. Yeah, okay. Um, so what's... Oh, I'm gonna put this on the door! Oh, no. Is that what I'm gonna do? Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> Good job. Good job, Joe. Retarded? No. Maybe a bit slow, but not retarded. Oh! <gasps> it's the timekeeper. Don't mind me, just gonna check these things. Console. This man needs to have to take cash. Sure, sure, sure. It's Abraham Lincoln. Even though he's got one head. Oh, he's definitely Mister, dying. Are you all right? You're you're bleeding. Huh, that's that's a lot of blood. Uh, stay right here. I'll go get help. No. No. <laughs> don't. Don't get anyone. I'm hiding. Are you alone? I I'm not sure what. Yes, I I'm single. Okay, we can date. Question. Ah. Oh. You alone? Yes, yes, I came down here by myself. Good enough. Wow, the audio is so spaced Listen. out between each other. <coughs> I'm between shot the two bad. characters. I don't have a lot of time. You're also damn bad. I'm also not important. <laughs> At least this version of me isn't. What's important is that you understand what I am about to tell you now. Should should I be writing this down? <laughs> I don't have anything to write with. <laughs> Yeah, you Shut press. up and pay attention! You're standing on the brink of an extinction level event, set in motion by greedy halfwits that will eventually end the greedy lives half of every man, woman, and child on the planet. I know this because I'm partially to blame. Fucking Though man. I realized our Stupid folly old in man. time, less sane and more senior heads prevailed. I've arrived from 40 years into the future to prevent it from happening. Damn, man, you look pretty old for Things a 40 year old. Things <laughs> are obviously vastly more complex than this, but for lack of time to explain this properly to an insufficiently primed recipient intellect, I am what you would probably perceive as a time traveler. Why? What do you get called 40 years in the Mr. future? Y you've obviously lost a <laughs> lot of blood. And you're a bit more retarded Sorry, than yes. I am. <laughs> 
I have planned this out in every detail for the better part of my life. Even getting I'll shot? Be damned if I will let it fail because of a single gun toting overachieving parking attendant who wasn't where he was supposed to be at this point in parking time. Parking attendants are always getting into some issues <laughs> that they shouldn't be. Thankfully. You look fleeceable enough to be coaxed into performing one simple task. Don't for touch me. that man, he could have forty year old I, future rabies. I want you to find me and tell me about this event before I depart for the past. You'll need this. Your fist? What is this? It is a portable interdimensional planar membrane chronosync instrument. I love them! Oh, sorry. Let me talk it's in a English. It's goddamn time machine, okay? Why did you leave with that? For reasons Stop yelling you at me! come to realize. The device runs on solar rechargeable batteries. Hmm. Despite this. Does he even I know what that is? I want you to keep it hidden until you're out of town. I know what that is. Don't let anyone see you with it. Especially in here. Mister, between the blood and all this space talk, you're <laughs> making me quite dizzy. I'm not sure how I can help you other than by calling security and getting you to an ambulance. Just no! take the damn device and find yeah, I, me. Yeah, I've got it. You find me, you hear? <laughs> Go. Go. How the fuck am I gonna find? I don't even know your name, Mister? man. Mister? Ah, he's dead. Well, we are suspect number one for murder, so I reckon we should get out of here. No, 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 no. Help. Oh, I didn't hear that. Help. No, sh I need help shut the fuck here. up. Shut the fuck up. Yep, I knew. You're dead. Stay right there, sir. Listen, you gotta help me. There's a guy in there. He, there's a lot of blood. He needs help. I said, stay right there. I'm not moving, wise but guy. I, I work here. You know me. I keep your hands where I can see them. Palms flat against the wall. Spread your legs. Oh, oh. The police are on their way. Like that, hey? Eh? Oh shit. <laughs> Why is that police car so much different than the style of the whole game? <laughs> Chapter Look, 2, The Future. I don't want to be unreasonable here. All Joker? All I want is some simple answers to some simple questions. Do you want this to become complicated, do you? Do you? <laughs> oh, we can do that, you know. Make things complicated. Is that what you want? No, sir. <laughs> yeah, didn't think so. Let's, uh... Let's just keep this nice and informal, shall we? Shouldn't we be formal? See, I'm a simple, easy going. Guy. I'm a simple guy. I try to be affable and not go too hard on people. Uh, that's what I find works the best. Now, my partner over here, he's a different kind of Ooh. guy. A real stickler for the rules. Forgot I had to keep Ain't track of my right, face cam. <laughs> What's Berg sound like? See, uh, I'm not talk, too apparently. good with long, complicated answers. I confuse easily. What Some kind of brain problem. I, I don't know. <laughs> so sometimes I gotta consult him, you know, uh, in complicated matters. Does that look like why your He's got a real head pops off? Suspects your top of your head pops off? Simplify their statements. Thing is, uh, he's not much of a people person, so most people seem to prefer dealing with me. I just get to the fucking So tell you what, I give you some simple questions, you feed me some simple answers, and we're all home before Donahue. How's that sound? Who the fuck is Donahue? Is that my roommate? You mind telling me what this is? Take your time. Oh, it's big. I thought it was like a little button thing. Uh, run. The cop didn't intrude him so introduce himself, but I can barely make out the name of his badge. It says F. Brokowski. Uh, I hope that some someone is behind there watching. At least I have witnessed when they start beating the crap out of me. Then again, it probably won't make a difference. Door. Uh, I don't know for sure, but I have a hunch that the door is locked. I'm not about to try. What's this intercom system? Uh, device. The device is pulsating with green light. Should I press it? No, I want to talk to this guy. I think I should think carefully about the next words I say to him. How about we just press the button? Hey! Whoa. Where the lights go? Oh, wait, that's me talking, not the police officer. Hello? Was... was I just knocked out? Home slice? I feel weird, like I've been folded flat and inflated again. <laughs> Hello? Should I just go to the door? Oh, that's cool. Oh man, that's bright! 
I must have a sensitivity to my eyes, because that's the second time I've said something's bright in this game. In this world. I didn't say it was bright. Joe did. See, look! So cool. Plants and presidents. We look, man. <sighs> oh, you're not. What? F I thought you were going to say all of that. What the fuck, Joe? Why would you say one word and not tell me the rest? I was waiting for you to continue on. I thought this was going to take a long, abbreviated J. Edgar Hoover. Um, stairs to bedroom says first of all. Um, pause. The sign of the door says evidence room. It's locked. Are we still on the police date? Yeah, we are. This uh, hole in the roof is cool. I really hate that you can't press A, D, A and D to walk or just the arrow keys. you got to press. Very annoying. I'm really confused. This doesn't look like a police station at all. Where did they take me? Don't know. I only count three steps. The first two are fine. The third seems to be nowhere in the basement. Nowhere in the basement? What do you mean? Even if I go down there without breaking my legs, I won't be able to get back up. Is you saying that I really don't want to go down to the basement? Are you saying that there's no stairs to go down into the basement? Well, fuck! What does that man have one... Or is that just pants? No. What? Oh god, what is that? I feel nauseous. I still have no clue what just happened, and now there's a dead body hanging from the ceiling. That's a skeleton, though. It's not a... But, I mean, I guess a body is... A skeleton is a body. This is a nightmare. It's gotta be. Why does he have one full leg? Is that just pants or something? Or clothes? I don't know, man. I'm just gonna walk past. I'm sorry. It's a big gaping hole on the floor. And a bat. A very tiny bat. Oh, no. What's that? A hammer. They just have... Must have nailed this door in a hurry. Ah, oh, I was gonna say, yeah, it's a very small bat, but that's a regular size hammer. It's being boarded up. That it. Wait, can you? Can't you take it down with the hammer? Use hammer with door. The hammer doesn't have a claw to remove the nails, and the planks are too thick to break. Ah, that must be a better way out. That is cool, but they've actually given reason to why I can't use that. Not just saying, oh, you can't use that here, dickhead. Office door. It's locked. Use the hammer. It's not a such hammer. Ah, this is awesome. Okay. I love it when they do that and get what is it? Oh, that's the the hanging man. Lockers. Can't read that. Cool. Can't read that. Can't say anything about that. Abraham Lincoln. What do you say? There's a safe hidden behind this. I, I don't know what you just said, man. It's locked. What a drag. <laughs> Hammer. What are my Hercules? It's a safe. Crooks use diamond to open these things up for peak sake. Ah, I love it. It the handle's broken off. Jesus Christ, man. Door. Hammer. I'm gonna get through the door with this puny thing. I love how they address everything you do. Tied door. The door is tied in place. Can I use this on it? I need to get rid of the rope holding the door. The hammer won't do much to me good here. Won't do much good here. Picture. It's white up. It's a good thing these pictures have labels, or I would never have guessed. Yeah, me too, man. I can't walk across this, can I? Fucking guess I can. It's a big gaping hole on the floor. That it is. Wait, can I? No, I can't walk across that. I really. If this whole case in by itself, who knows what my way can do? Yeah. Yeah, so there's nothing up here we can do. Is there anything downstairs we can do? There's definitely nothing up here we can do. Hanging man. There's a key to. Oh! Yeah, do that. Oh, so it just appeared out of nowhere, hey? What are these keys for? I hope it takes me far away from here or just wakes me up. Yes! Can we use it on this? It doesn't fit. I was curious to what that would actually work on. I was, I was curious to what we'll actually have to do next, sorry. Because I had no clue. <laughs> Use key with door. The door has no handle. Oh, <laughs> besides the key doesn't fit, must be another door. Oh, wait, can I use it on this? No, surely not. Okay, it doesn't fit. Cool, so I must see a door downstairs. I can't remember what the fuck was downstairs, so hopefully it is something downstairs on the ground floor. Oh, the evidence room, yeah. Evidence room, just turned a turn Kiwi there. 
There we go. It fits. I unlocked it. If it fits, I sit. That was a fucking samurai sword, man! What? Give me that samurai sword. Break that lock. Uh, oh, come on. I can't even break a rusty old padlock with a hammer. It must be so out of shape, but this is stupid. That it is. Do you have a key on you? Or I'm just going to come on about your dead body. Oh, God. I must be losing it. The police ID. It's the officer from the interrogation. Ah, Burkowski. This is seriously creeping me out, man. What is that? Burkowski. 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 Or... Berkeski, Berkeski, boxed evidence, unlicensed small arms, anti-war propaganda, unregistered sexual aids, dentals, the rest of the boxes have case numbers, okay, interesting, so what use was it, oh, I've got the lieutenant's thing, oh, the greatest rusted, yeah, what would it, what would that open, ID card, go on, go out, um, Oh, I just came out of the interrogation room, didn't I? Was there anything in here of use? No, just very eerie. It makes Joe look like he's bald. Okay, there was nothing in the evidence room. Uh, I doubt this ID can do anything. Unless it's like an, a key card? Crap, it's broken. Oh, hang on, it clicked. Oh! The door is open. Just like on Dragnet. What did that do? Oh, didn't get to read that second lot. Okay. Oh, that's for the uh, locker. The locker? The fucking safe. Uh, picture. Nemo. Some kind of fish. Carp, I think. Uh, no. Clownfish. Photographs. Herman Bell, wanted for murder. Possible connections to San Francisco 8. Heh, <laughs> boobies. Oh, there we got a uh, note here. There's some numbers scribbled on it. It's short to be a f it's too short to be a phone number or license plate. Maybe a door code or something. <laughs> or maybe a safe code. Country map. It's the map of the country. It's riddled with pins, circles, and notes that look like they were they were written in a hurry. Hmm. One of the drawers is unlocked. There's a bottle of gun oil in there. Take it. I love. Whoops! Almost dropped it. The bottle's really greasy. I fucking love. The death has seen better days. Love gun oil for dinner. There's nothing unusual about it. It's not unusual. Well, uh, is that all that's in here? Lockers. I don't think it'd be anything in here. Really? No. They're either rusted or locked. <laughs> or both. Okay, so. Maybe we get a gun later on. That's what we use the gun oil on. Them. But for now, we're going to go up to the safe and put the safe code in. Boop. Bop. It worked. Oh, there's nothing in here. Nothing but this dumb paperclip. What a bummer, man. What the fuck do I use a paperclip on? I might be able to open something simple like a padlock. Ah, hell yeah. Let's go open up the padlock. Because, you know, we totally knew that Joe was a locksmith. Uh, uh, or a criminal. Wait, was this the right? Yeah, down to the Evans room. Uh, who could open shit with a paper lock? Paper lock? Open locks with a paper clip. I can't fucking think today. Use paper clip with evidence locker. Yes, please. Hmm. I need to loop it up. Okay, let's uh, use these two. Hmm. Oh, I need to lube the lock up. I thought it meant lube the clip up. The lock tumbler seems a little left stiff now. And then we can use this. No. Fuck. Over here, Joe. That. Use paper clip on the lock. Wow. It, <laughs> wow, it opened. Wow, that was a lot easier than I thought it'd be. Yeah, because it's a game. You know. Open. Oh, <gasps> Samurai Sword! Katana, sorry. It's a katana. I've always wanted one of these, but somehow I don't feel as excited about it now. Sorry for everybody yelling at me. Like, it's not a fucking Samurai Sword. It's a fucking katana, you dickhead. Uh, now we can go and cut Mr. Man down. And open the door. And desecrate his body. <laughs> Hey man, I'm just gonna go up here and I'm gonna cut your body down. Please don't be angry at me in the afterlife. Use a katana with rope. Hey yeah. Oh, he actually does it. <laughs> oh, we should actually cut. The rope's being cut off now. Should I go check the body or go on the door? Let's go on the door. The body's not our problem anymore. Oh. Okay. Bookshelf. Bookcase. Sorry. 
lots of dusty files and reports. Hey, sir. I'm here for a job interview. There's a dusty roster on the deck. Seems like a lot of officers were homesick that day. Hmm. I'm sure I'll get used to this. What? Being here? I can't even tell if it's a man or a woman. Yeah, you can't, can you? What was the use of coming in here again? Desk. Just a regular desk. Window. There's a big gr tree going outside. I might be able to get out that way. Eh? Huh? Oh, whoa. Should be a little bit more careful. Almost cut myself. Oh, is that what I used the hammer for? Hole in the window. Shit, I should have looked at what that body did. Probably not. Oh, I can go back through again. Let's go look at the body quickly before, like, I get tackled by, like, a... I don't know, a superhero or some shit? Just walking on that ledge? Shot by a Nazi gunship? Uh, not this... Oh, yeah, it was this floor, yeah. Oh, where'd he go? The man. Okay, nothing of significance there. Um, it's cool that it gets rid of the stuff that you don't need anymore. Otherwise, I'd be very fucking confused. And also, it would probably, like, infiltrate, not infiltrate, um conflict with things we're doing later in the game like there could be somebody there holding a gun at us and we have a katana we could chop his hand off with yeah so removes all doubt of that shit tree branch Are you gonna hop on that <laughs> whoa that's uh, that's really far out whatever the guy was feeling in that movie vertigo that's what i'm feeling right now <laughs> yeah the brace looks sturdy enough in theory i'm just not sure i'll be able to make it i need something to hold on to besides prayer i mean uh like what i need some rope or wire to hold me uh, where would I find that? I could have kept the rope or wire from the guy that I cut down, but no, you didn't think that far ahead, did you, Joe? Punk. Um, oh, wire. No, how do I... Door? No. Wire. There's, there's something snaking. Or do I have to go down to get that? This. Dish. I want dish. No? Can I go down further to get it? You can't. Oh. Oh, there he is. He f oh, because that... Well, yep, I get you. I get you. Dead body. Hey, boy. I was bad enough when he was hanging from the ceiling. It was bad enough. Oh, he hung himself. Oh, actually, somebody else could have hung him. That should come in handy. <laughs> yeah. Fucking tied around our necks. I don't want to be here. Any more than the guy lying on the floor that was hung up from the ceiling. Okay, uh, in here. And then we can use the rope. I, yeah, I don't know why that didn't click that that guy would have fallen down to the first ground floor. I thought that hole went somewhere way different. <laughs> rope, let's hang ourselves to the tree. Use rope with tree and branch. The most important knot I've tied in my life. Yeah, dude, that's not fucking staying on that branch. Chapter 3 machine. Oh, I know this isn't just some horrible nightmare. The tree was too far something. I need to breathe and get a grip. You could have tied that around. If this is all happening, somebody must have taken the time travel guy to the hospital or something. I need to get over there. I'm not sure what I'll get out of it, but I have something else to go on. Okay. Um, yeah, you could have at least tied that around a more sturdier branch. Backlot door. <laughs> Man, it's completely rusted up. Motorcycle. Is that a really long motorcycle? The motorcycle is nothing but busted up junk now. It looks like a really long motorcycle, but it might just be the fact that it's broken in two. Uh, barbed wire. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Poison ivy. Touch it. Yep, I'm not touching that. <laughs> Read my mind. It won't budge. Well, shit, where do we go from here? Jeez, that thing almost scared me half to death. The wall? Oh, the device is lit up now. The light must have reset. Oh, recharged it. So I guess it's working again. Boom. Well, shit, Sherlock. Oh, cool. We can travel between time. Okay, this is going to be cool. Oh, cool. So the poison ivy is great. Oh, it's sick. Did I just touch it? This is poison ivy. I don't think anyone actually planted this, but it got here anyway. You just said not. You've got poison ivy infection now. What is it? Burn? No, it's not burn. Motorcycle tool bag. There's a screwdriver in here. 
Sick. Okay, this is going to become really cool. Back lot door. It's locked. Screwdriver? Lucky, it was a slam lock. Yes, slam lock. We both know what that is, don't we? Umbrella. Resident Evil. Okay, the hospital's back here. It looks like it's just across the road. It's an umbrella. It's a little battered, but otherwise in fine shape. Just how I like my umbrellas. Exactly like I like my fish. Okay, so that's the entrance to the police station. Police car. Get in it. Go home. The door is locked. Fuck! Okay. Entrance to the police station. I, ha I know I haven't had many great ones lately, but this is a really stupid idea. They're probably really looking for me. Yeah. Oh, you just fucking, like, bolted. I'm not going back in there. In fact, I should really go off the street as fast as possible. Smart. Uh, what did I come in here for? Just the umbrella, I guess. Uh, I think the garage... This is the garage station. I really should get out of here fast. A so car should be... Could be coming any minute now. Okay. So, we got a umbrella. And I guess we can go through this door as well. There's nothing over here. Nope. It won't budge. Umbrella! It's an umbrella, not a sledgehammer. <laughs> Dope. Okay. What do you reckon we can do then? Oh, we can go back in time through this door. Oh, it's open now. Oh, so the end of the world... And blah, 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 blah. The end of the world must have happened just as I got out of that place. Because <laughs> nobody seemed to bother it. have shut that. Garage door. It opens automatically, but even if there was a power, it only opens from the inside. Does it? Windows. Nothing going on in there. In fact, the whole street is dead quiet. It creeps me out. Entrance. Oh, there's a person in there. The entrance is boarded up. I can only imagine why they would have to do that, and I don't want to. Open car door. Okay. If hey, Mr. Pistol, I found a nightstick. And I just threw up a little. I didn't exactly expect to find another corpse in here. What do you mean? You've been finding corpses the entire game. Uh, nightstick. What the fuck is a nightstick? You mean a, a, a bat? I can't open the door with a stick. No, you can't, can you? How about the window? I don't need to get back in there. Okay. Guess there's no need for us to be here anymore. Um... Ah, uh, we can use that on this. Did that do it? Use a nightstick with the back door. It's a stick, not a sledgehammer. What the fuck are we supposed to do with it then? Buck wait, wait, wait. Oh wait, it's locked from here. A two, isn't it? It won't budge. That's a stick, not a sledgehammer. Okay. Let's go... Hmm. Uh, boom. Yes, I'd love to get shot at. <laughs> oh, wait, can we use that on the, the car now? I've seen Dirty Harry, so every... So as every cop in this town, I don't really need to know what happens to me if I start banging up this patrol car. Very true. Uh, I don't know what I do now, though. Maybe I can try and open this. Probably not. The problem is, is not the tool, it's my arms. Maybe we use the umbrella or something. Fire scrape ladder. <laughs> the fire scrape ladder is too high up to reach, even if I jump. I loved how you had to do that, too. <laughs> I don't get into cars with dead people. It's a policy that served me well so far. Yeah, I agree with that. Even if the car worked, I'd have to pry the dead officer out of the, first, the seat first. I'd rather leave him alone. Can you beat his dead body up? There's not much I can do with this car that hasn't already happened. I've already rusted. It's already rusted beyond repair. The umbrella won't make much difference now. Oh, is this to get through the door? I can't open the door with a stick. Well, what the fuck do we do then? I've pressed on everything and... <laughs> nothing's working. I can't... What do I do? 
Oh wait, do I use the nightstick on this? I can't make it grab on. Oh, the umbrella! Sorry, I turned my face cam off because I went exploring. I used the umbrella on the fire escape and that's how I got up. <laughs> uh, okay. There we go. Hotel. Transylvania? It's locked. I'm guessing this one's locked too. Yeah, I like how the light's spilling onto this wall. That's dope. Up the ladder again we go. Oh shit, you look pretty good in these clothes, man. No, carpet. Nice thick rug. Probably soaked as well and is probably extremely heavy. Great looking pants. Laundry? The detergent smells so homely. I'm still not sure if I'm imagining this whole thing. It screws in my head more than anything. Are you going to wear the pants? Whoever lives here has great taste in treads. Okay, I'm guessing we're looking at the hospital building because that's where we got to go. The traveller must be there. He's got to be. Um, yeah. This doesn't really help me find out where I'm going next, though. Um, apartment 1G. Yes. Oh, wait, can I use one of these on it? If it was that easy, I'm sure that would be a lot more break-ins. You're not wrong. Oh, do I have to press the bell? Doorbell? Yeah. No one? What about over here? I guess nobody's home. Shit, why are there doorbells there, then? There's carpet. Oh, no? Oh, wait. We gotta go back in time. Sorry. Back in time. Back to the future. Why do I have a carpet? It's weird. I'm guessing once I'm up here, something might be ch Oh. Oh, we were in... We were in regular time, not, um... Fucking... What's it called? Not in future time. <sighs> Great, the whole door is covered in poison ivy. I've got to get rid of this. With the bat! No, Peter said with a stick. I just look at this monster. He would probably get, be faster yelling at it to death at this point. Maybe I can get in there before it grew this big. No, you can't. If it was that easy, I'm sure there'd be a lot more break-ins. Let's go to the top and see if anything happens if we change times. Ah, there we go. The hole in the roof. There's, the pants are still there. Can we have them? Cool. Big old ball up there. I like this wallpaper. The window. Not much of a view, just more apartment buildings. It's a wonder they get light in here at all. Yeah. Lamp. It's been a long time since this lamp brought light to anyone's life. Oh, it's sad. Nothing on there. Cool. Can I open the door? Yep, there we go. Oh, this, the key seems to have bro been broken off in the lock. Well, that's shit. Let's hope when we travel back in time, there won't be anybody in here shagging. Oh, oh that's cool. That's really cool. Can I turn the light on? Can, can I? I'm really sure I can. Nope. Okay. Curtains. Ah. Oh, cool. <gasps> Burn me, bro. Wallpaper paste. Hmm. Who was decorating the walls? They sure left in a hurry. Recently, too. The pace is still sticky. Don't know what I'd use that for. Lamp. Wait, is that a key? No, it's a brush. There's something in there. Oh, a key! For the door, I am assuming. Someone hit a key in the lap shape. I wonder what it's for. The door! Do I break the key off on the door? Oh, no. Okay. Boom. Cool. Door's open. Apartment exterior. This is a really weird apartment. You've got to get up there through a fire escape? Nah, it's probably a door somewhere or something. Can I... No, I can't use a key on this. Um, it's locked. I don't know what I'd use this in combination for. This could take weeks before anything happens. I'll probably starve to death before the plant does. I need to nip this in the bud. Oh, gotcha. 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 I'm going to go down here and do something with the plant. I don't know if I need to put paste on it or something. or Paste? With poison ivy. 
There we go. Done. It's seeping into the soil. Do I put the mat on it or something? I think I'm done here. Okay, and then... Kitchow! Poison Ivy's gone. Gotcha. Let's do it, boys. Looks like the Poison Ivy is having a fun time with itself. Boom. Now we get into the apartment. Sick! Can we? Man. Oh, the handle broke off. Does this stuff... Why does stuff like this keep on happening? I don't know. Let's ring the doorbell. Nobody will answer that. No, they will not. Can I just use it on the... No? Okay, man. It fits, but the same door seems blocked by something on the other side. Fuck! Torn wallpaper. Can I tear it more? Is there a door? Oh, it's a door! Now that's some lazy renovation. That sure is. Use door handle? Fuck yeah! Cool! I love these puzzles! Ooh, I like this apartment. Not that it's all destroyed. Well, yes, that's destroyed. Not that I live in a department. Department? Apartment that is destroyed, but it's just... The vibe is cool. Okay. TV. Well, that's bigger than my one at home. There's no electricity. I'm not sure what I would be watching, even if there was. There were. Okay. Window. And we can climb down the tree, I'm guessing? There's a tree blocking that window. Fuck! Uh. The door opens inward, and it looks at all this junk. Take the junk away, maybe? It's a stick, not a fire hex. <laughs> I can't even get through the door. Why would I waste time decorating the entrance? These answers are awesome. Uh, Can you really not move that shit? What is the use of being in here? Oh, wait, yeah. What's in the real world? I keep forgetting I can switch time. The real world? The present world. It's on. Looks like a special news bulletin. Looks like a man just on TV. I don't get it. <laughs> what do you mean? It just looks nice. You don't need to get it. Lamp. Turn lamp on. Modern art. I miss the times when paintings made sense, like the ones where the dog plays po- Yeah, that's true. Pretty cute. It's unlocked now. Is there anything under the mat? No. And then window. Probably nothing we can do there. There's a back alley I should be able to slip into. Um, it's not far down either. Unfortunately, there is another. There is another of those windows that don't open. All right, break it and then put the that over to get out. I hope nobody heard that. This carpet should do the trick. Oh, get a fucking tree in their face. Now we can jump down. Okay, that's cool. Chapter four, the entry. Oh, that's a decapitated pig if I've ever seen one. All right, so trash can. Just trash. No, wait, there's a broom head down there. Fuck yeah. For a second there, I got all excited by the thought of renewing my own broom without filing out acquisition forms. Sure, man. I really need to find a different line of work. You, you do, like, work in the military and shit, so... Not like you're, um... It's a butcher shop. I know property prices in this town are through the roof, but who in their right mind would open a butcher shop right next to a hospital? That's very true, isn't it? Yeah. Um, button... But press the button. Nice. Hey, it opened the door. Things are finally looking up for me. I don't think you should go through there. Hazard bin? Can't press anything else? Fan? The air from the fan has a slight tint of fresh meat and cleaning supplies. Supplies. Gross. Um. Oh, wait. We're in the real world, aren't we? The real world? The present world. Broken plate. There's something round underneath the dirt. There's something underneath here, but it's totally covered with dust and gr- Ah, oh, the broom head! There's a manhole here. There's no way to get my hands around the cover. There are holes in it, but not big enough for fingers. Okay. The electric lock on this fence must have stopped working years ago. We unlocked it, though, didn't we? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, hook! Meat hook. It's a somewhat scary-looking meat hook. They are pretty scary, aren't they? Just brings me back to the days of Dead by Daylight. Uh, cool. Neat. Let's go over here. Uh, so, wait, what did I say? Passage to hospital front. There's nothing else over here, really, is there? Oh, wait, we can use the meat hook. Hell yeah! Arr, heavy. Let's just see what's through this gate quickly. Hmm, there's a police officer in there. We should probably... Oh, wait, maybe he's going to say that he can't go in there because there's a police officer in there, so we're going to have to go through the manhole way. But let's just have a look what's here. Battle of Turpin... Turpentine. Turpentine. 
turpentine. It's a bottle of turpentine, corrosive and flammable. This should come in handy. I probably shouldn't run off with the whole bottle though. The painter will notice it's gone and alert the officer. True. Paint. Can we cover ourselves? It's a can of paint. Red face ourselves. Oh, drain. I can feel the draft in the sewer tunnel below. That's a cool hint that you got to go down into the sewer. Locked container. It's locked. Yes, it is. Sorry, I thought you were going to say something about the police car because I pressed on it, but no. Um, painter. Policeman. Sign. Let's look at the sign first. This is the place, all right. Now I need to get in there and hopefully find the travel guy. Time travel guy. From his clothes, I'm guessing he's a painter. From his clothes, I'm guessing he's a police officer. I can make out a few words every time I raise his voice. He's clearly looking for somebody. Probably you. Is that beehive hornets that's going to attack me? No? Okay. It's the guy here with a ciggy. Is that the painter? No way. There's a lighter wedged between his ribs. He won't be needing it anymore. Ugh, why is it in his ribs? I've seen three tip dead people today. I should be able to summon this by now, but by the time... But the only thing keeping me from throwing up is the surreal, how surreal this all feels. It's locked, but the padlock is so rusty it rattles. Cool. Yeah, so this apocalyptic thing must have happened just before I um, escaped. Just after I escaped, sorry. I can feel the giraffe from the sewer tunnel below. Okay. Hornet's nest. No. no, I'm not getting any closer. I'm allergic to bees. Okay. I, f I fell off the roof of an... Oh, fuck, I want to read that. The paint is completely dried up. As it would be after 20 years. 20... Is this 20 years? I need to get rid of those things. I wish there was something to set fire to. Bees are afraid of fire, right? What about the turpentine? Turpentine. Um... Yeah, how do you get that? Use a lighter and a paint. Setting fire to paint, I'm pretty sure I've done dumber things, but right now I can't think of any. Also, there's no real wind, so if I can get rid of those bees, I need to light something closer to the nest. Move the paint! Okay, let's go down into the sewer. I don't think there's anything else we can do up here for now. Let's go! Can we go down there or is he gonna say, fuck nah? Oh yeah. There's a stick. A bar. It's a loose rung from the ladder. If I'm taking it, I'm taking it with me. If anything survived this world, it'd be, I'd, I'll be hungry by now. And if I need something to defend myself, Jesus Christ, I can't read because I'm reading so fast. It's probably been years since this has worked. Anything else that we here we can do in this time? No. Okay. Boom. Whoa. That's so cool. Uh, use lighter with bar. No. Okay. Um, bar. Metal things. Metal things? Shit. What does that say? I don't know. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything in here. Oh, wait. Maybe. Maybe. Switch. There we go. Cool. Awesome. I don't like those noises. Iron bars. Give it a few weeks and I'll probably be a slim enough to sit through these. There's going to be a better way, though. That's funny. Uh, is there anything else in here? No. Shit. Wait. I can get through there, can't I? Rusty iron bars. Even if someone had made it through those bars, there's like two tons of girdler, girdler, girders and other rubble on the way. What's girders? I hope the sewer is done collapsing on itself by now. I really don't want to be down here when the rest of it goes. See, that disappears just as I'm finished talking, like at a slow pace. Should I use that on that? I don't see why I would do that. <laughs> My legs aren't short. Mine are. Okay. The entrance is blocked. I can see the bottom of one of those red dumpsters through the holes of the lid. Wait, hang on. There's a tree going through this thing before. Where's the tree gone? <laughs> um, well, there must be something we can do with the lighter and the bar. Let's use the bar on the hornet's nest, hey? He says something about not being crazy. No. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Use lighter with hornet's nest. Damn thing is only giving me a spark. Shit. And you can't use that with that. No. 
Can I use that with that? No. Wait, can I just break this open? No, not with a horn's nest. Hmm. No. With the door. No, not with the door. Cool. Overgrown area. It's completely overgrown with trees and bushes. Not anymore! Rubble. Most of the walls and some of the ceiling have been dislodged. I won't be getting anywhere in that direction. The metal rod might come in handy, though. How? <laughs> yeah, you think that worked, but somehow it just doesn't. Yeah. <sighs> what? Oh, if you double press, he runs. Awesome. I did not know that. What am I missing? There's one thing I didn't try. That on that. Locked container. Got it, the lock broke. Of course it did. Every other lock I've... It's a bone saw. Apart from the goop, it doesn't even look like it's been used. Ew. Why is there a bone saw in a hazardous bin outside of a hospital? Did that open that one? No. Can I open this? Mm, this padlock outmatches my saw. Every other thing I've used on a lock has failed, other than the th like a, a key or something. So, Sorry if I didn't know how to use that on that, man. Use bones or on jail. Uh, there's a police officer right there. Either I'll come up with the world's best explanation or one so weird he'll let me finish just to see where it goes. I'm not counting on either. Where do I use a bone saw? There's no way to use a bone saw. Unless it's like down here on one of the the metal bars, but I don't think you're getting through a metal bar with a bone saw. Rusty iron bars. Oh, maybe on the rusty iron bars. Yeah, no. Nah, the sewer is blocked by rubble on the other side of the bars. What about here? Oh! Okay, maybe I... Man, I bet I could cut through a car with this saw. It broke. Oh, well. Okay. Um. <laughs> There's a fucking syringe just there. What's on the other side, though? Boom. Nothing. Okay, let's get the syringe. Oh, we can put the turpentine in there. Okay. Turpentine. Turpentine. Teen sounds better. It's a syringe. Paramedics must have dropped it down the drain. Oh no. Anything down here? Rubble? Oh, it's a bunch of wooden beams. It must have been left by a hobo who never finished his fort. See, he goes down and like picks it up. So I feel like he actually picks it up. That's why I said O oh, just then because I thought I picked the rubble up or something. Guess not. Let's go up the ladder. Should we turn this off? Oh, you can't. You gotta go back in time. I mean, forward in time. 40 years in the future. I'm guessing it's 40 years, because that's the... That's what the um, time traveler said, and I'm pretty sure it takes more than a few years to grow full trees. So what, we take the turpentine, turpentine with this, and then we put it into the hornet's nest? Dum, 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 dum. Nothing suspicious to going on here. The syringe is full of turpentine now. So we can put that in here. I'm guessing. And light it on fire. I wouldn't know how. Yeah, you wouldn't, would you? Oh, wait. No, we put in the paint. Oh, we can light the paint on fire. Fuck. How do I use the turpentine? Oh wait, do I use the turpentine on the rubble to explode it? I can't, yeah, I didn't think so. With the rubble. No. I'm not going to remove a ton of rubble with a needle. <laughs> you could fucking try though, man. Can I use this on like this? Blocked passage. I need a bulldozer for that and a syringe on rubble. Oh. Okay. Whoa. Oh, gee, my sleeve almost caught fire. This thing completely off the hooks. I should use way less turpentine than the next time I start a sewer fire. Okay, um, sure. I guess I can see how that works. <laughs> Just didn't expect I had to do that. Because everything I used the turpentine on just didn't work, so I didn't think that would actually work too. Oh well, let's go back over here, and then we'll go back into the future, and then... Yes, all the hornets are gone!
Now I can get into here. Yes, hospital main entrance. Booyah. It's open. Let's go through it then, Joe. Billy Joe. Chapter 5, The Corpse. Okay, we're going to leave this episode here. We are halfway through the game. I could probably do this in like one episode, but we'll split it into two. Otherwise, it'll be like a three-hour um, episode. And I'd rather split it into two because that's easier on me to upload two videos over two weeks rather than one video in one week and then have to record a series for another week. But cool. It's, it's pretty cool so far. Uh, there's just a big mystery around what all this is about, and I feel like that's just the main... Oh, I thought you were holding your head over that noise. I would, because that's very loud and annoying. <laughs> but yeah, um, cool premise. Cool that I have to go back in time and then forward in time to, like, grab objects and all that. I didn't know that the game would have that mechanic about it. It's a really cool mechanic. I have played other games that have used that mechanic, I'm pretty sure. So it's not new, but it's it's just a cool mechanic to use. And uh, I just had to look up a tutorial for one of the things there where I couldn't figure out how to use that metal bar. So it must just be me not being able to figure out how to fucking do puzzles in games. <laughs> God, I'm pathetic. Ah, but so far, so good. Yeah, like I said, probably only two episodes on this on this game. Uh, it looks like a very simple game. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Nothing too spectacular like a lot of indie games I have seen that are very cool with small premises. But oh well, it's about the experience when playing the game, isn't it? And uh, the headphones use like a, not surround sound, just like it puts sounds in your left and right ear, which isn't new, and a lot of games do that anyway, so I don't know why it was telling me to use headphones, like it was some like fucking ear orgasm experience I was about to, about to do, about to put myself through experience, <laughs> but yeah. That's going to end this episode here for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye! <laughs>